So this question comes from John F. I noticed that you are, uh, have a video called Digital Surveillance System Administration where you spe uh, specifically cover the, how to use a DVR controllers. Do you have any videos where you cover the information in regards to NVRs? Um, I'm installing an NVR-based security system using a Vertex hardware and I'm having a heck of a time trying to understand how to communicate to the NVR using my laptop via my router. So this question about controlling DVRs and NVR. So whenever we're talking about surveillance systems, a DVR is a digital video recorder. Basically, digital video recorders, more or less, are the old PC-based surveillance systems where you have coax cable coming into them. So I think it's RJ69 uh, Siamese cable. It has a coax cable and has power cable, uh, and it plugs into some kind of card on the back of the computer or the device, and so it takes the analog signal. That analog signal goes into the DVR, the digital video recorder. The digital video recorder then turns it into the bits and bytes, and then from there you're able to interact with it. An NVR, a network video recorder, essentially same deal except you're using IP surveillance cameras. So, uh, so the old analog cameras used a coax cable, so basically that normal cable that you have coming out of walls, that's what they used. Uh, with the NVRs, you're using these IP surveillance cameras, so access cameras, uh, IQ and vision cameras, that kind of thing. Uh, really, that is the only, that's the big difference between DVR. DVRs and NVR. So the question is this guy has is he's trying to set up this Advertix hardware and he's having a hard time uh, trying to understand how to communicate to the NVR using my laptop through my router. So most likely what this guy is talking about is he set up his NVR, his network video recorder within the premises. Um, he has his router and he has a laptop computer so he's in the outside world trying to connect to the NVR on the inside world. Now normally the problem with this, usually the only problem with this, uh, is simply port forwarding port forwarding. So what you do is you go into your router uh, and what and whatever ports that your surveillance system requires in order to use, what you do is you forward those ports to the IP address of the surveillance system. So what happens then is when you're in the outside world, you go to the external address of your site, your location. So if you're inside, you go to whatismyip.com and it will give you the external IP address. So you're at your computer, your laptop computer at home, you go to the software, you type in the IP address, the external IP address of the premises. That goes there, which then connects into the router. The router uh, then forwards the specific ports that are required for your surveillance system to the NVR, and then you should be able to access it. And away you go. Now, this, that's... All I, really, I mean, that's really all there is. I mean, basically, uh, connecting to the outside world for either NVRs or DVRs, usually all it is is making sure port forwarding is working and making sure your firewall isn't screwing everything up. So especially a lot of these Soho uh, uh, routers have firewalls built in. A lot of these security experts, I'm a security expert, go in there and they lock down that damn firewall. And holy hell, it's a royal pain in the ass to make anything work. So, if you have the ports forwarded properly, um, and it's still not working, what I would say is turn off the firewall entirely, at least for a test, see if it'll work then. If it does work then, you know you have a firewall problem, then you got to go in and you got to muck with the firewall rules. Uh, if it doesn't work then, then you have some other issue going on. But it's either firewall or port forwarding is what I would argue. Now that is why also when we're talking about this, the Advertix hardware, AV ERTX. I've never dealt with this hardware before, but this is the type of example of why I, I tell you guys you should standardize on something. I personally like access cameras, uh, but you should standardize on something. Axis or GeoVision or Kodakom or Advertix or something like that. Because what you will find with all of these surveillance systems, all of these surveillance systems have quirks really annoying, tedious pain in the ass, quirks. Uh, and once you figure out what the quirk is, and once you figure out the workaround for the quirk, uh, it's very easy. Uh, but the problem is, is a lot of people go out there and they try to install the least expensive DVR or NVR that they can find. So this client gets this particular system, and this client gets this system, this client gets this system, this client gets this system, because it was whatever was cheapest at the time. The problem is every single manufacturer, every single system has their own quirks. So when you're going out there and you're installing a zillion different types of systems, it's a 
horrible. It is absolutely horrible for service and maintenance. So what I would argue is standardize on something. So if you guys, if you, this person likes Advertix for whatever reason, only install a vertex, right? Uh, but that that's that's what I would say. So with this though, uh, it's probably port forwarding in your firewall. Again, if port forwarding is working, turn off your firewall entirely because yeah, I mean firewalls. Oh, firewalls are a real pain in the ass half the time. So turn it off, see if it'll work then. If it does work then, you know it's a firewall. Go in there and and, and mess with the rules. If not, um, yeah. That, that would be my thought. That would be my thought. Most likely it's just port forwarding. Take a look at port forwarding. I have a class on port forwarding. Take a look at port forwarding. That's probably a problem.